is an option expiry day. It is also the period between today and next couple of days <coughs> when the second quarter earnings and the first half of quarter, 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 quarter earnings are come up. <coughs> There's an old law in quotation markets, not a law obviously, in the in the stock market that if the market if the market is going up in anticipation of the announcement of the quarterly earnings, then it usually goes down afterwards because it discounts the uh, the event, the news. So given that the market has been going up, it's probably going to mean that there will be a couple of very good annou earning announcement. But if you if you're in the market and you don't care about earning announcement because it's their earning and not your earning, then you should be selling into this next few days because after that next week, I think the market is going to turn down again. Um, so option expiry and the quarterly and the quarterly earnings. Uh, June, July, uh, July and August are usually not a hottest months in the market in general, so that also contribute. And we see a, a very interestingly, I saw a number of um, energy stocks that were backing off, and some of them have come down uh, last week and the week before. And what what we see today, despite of the fact that the, the Toronto was up over 200 points, what we see what we saw today is is a very very uh, sluggish tired recovery on among those oil stocks. So we could have some we could have a bit of problem among the oil stocks. Bank stocks are doing well. They are now also have run very well. They are, might be starting to make uh, what we call a double bottom, meaning that they ran up to here, backed off and maybe they're just gonna go back up to where they were before, which means there's supply up here, people are finally starting to get out of it. A lot of the banks have up thirty percent from the March lows on top something so if you were smart enough to get in March, and obviously you're going to start taking profit. And um, so uh, I, I think we will be having a, in a bit of a uh, correction between now and let's say middle of August, late of August. Then I expect the market to do well again until year end, and we're not looking for very, very optimistically for 2010 because I don't think the problem is completely solved. You know, beautiful, the Goldman Sachs is wonderful. But I think there's still problem in the system, and that problem probably... See, we were down so low that you had to come up. But you, I don't believe that we solved, we solved all the problems. And so, so if there's in other words, still, if there's we've gonna, seen the law for our lifetime. Did we see the law for our lifetime? We've seen the law for our lifetime. No, I don't believe we have seen the law of the lifetime. I mean, your lifetime, you have seen the law in 1974. That was the law for your lifetime. Oh, you're presuming he wasn't around in 1929. <laughs> 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 I'll take it all back. I'll take it all back. <laughs>